Hello everyone and welcome back to the season finale of uh, the 2020 season of Motorsport Manager. I've really enjoyed this season because I've been battling at the front and having some good races, including some victories, which has been absolutely superb. Um, as you can see, my play... Um, my race management goes really, really well. My financial stuff does not necessarily go quite so plan. However, my loyalty is fabulous because look at what we've done. 15 races so far, seven podiums and three wins beforehand. Look, we've only ever had two podiums each time. When we had that bizarre podium and win in 2017 where it all went a bit... where we took advantage, I think, of some weather or a weird glitch, wasn't it? Um... So yeah, everything looking good. We've not applied for a different job. We are taking VLAN to the top if we can. Um, if we can. Let's see. So yes, we got pole. Yes, we did well. Yes, we had a pit crew that went well. Uh, Esteban's got a home race winner trait. Um, interview with UKSN. Uh what is your analysis? So that team looks weak. I can't see. Uh, they just got unlucky. New personality trait. Driver is open to discussing with us for another year. The bearded wonder that is Dieter Wexler continues to wonder everyone with how aerodynamic that beard really is. <laughs> Okay, so we've only got 10 ra uh, days left until the next race. I'm not developing new parts because I've yet to... And I've not found this online, so please, if you spot this in the comments, let me know. Do um, carryovers from one year to the next actually take place? Or is it just purely around design and stuff? Wow, we've lost out in terms of sponsors. Have we lost one? Yeah, we have. Okay, few. About to have a pan panic attack then. So, um, I'm not building anything new. I want to uh, make sure that we are okay. Okay, Vitaly Koldov is designing a new clothes line. Okay. Does that up our marketability? Yes, it does. It ups his as well, of course. Car has finished repair. That's very good. That's all very good. Right, so let's dive into the car, and this is where we want to perfect things. So, um, do we have anything else that we need to... Mm, that rear wing could go up a smidge, I guess. That's kind of it. I want everything above 75. Uh, so, we're going to do a couple of things on the front wing, I guess. Do we want to try out that suspension as well? I know that's got plus 40 on. As has that. Oh yeah, because that gets that going three days before the race. Two days before the race. We never did do the second gearbox for Esteban, did we? So let's let's do that for Esteban because I feel a bit bad for him. Um, and that does kind of sort us out. Hang on. No, you twat. <laughs> we didn't fit the new rear wing in front wing. Oh, you idiot. You utter twit. <laughs> right, stick it on. Finale. Christ, Simon. I can't believe that. We could have been even better. We still won. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crying. We still won. I can't believe that. That's so funny. <laughs> um, let me just check the other parts very quickly. 
<laughs> that's really tickled me. Okay, we only do have one. Okay, that was my other worry. Was have the gearbox is always our Achilles' heel? Have we just been dragging ourselves behind on that as well? But no, we're okay. Right. So that gets us everything that we need to improve. Let's take a look at our three sponsors here. Now, what have we got? Hmm. Well, they're all second or above. So let's do that. It gets us what we need. 36 lap race around Doha. Blah, 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 blah. Um, that's helped us with sponsorship dive up. Yeah, look, we still aren't quite at the midpoint in our car either. So we are we are dragging ourselves well above expectation with what we've got. Uh, well done to the drivers, though. Pit crew not looking too bad. Staff back up to third again. That was full earlier on in this uh, podcast. Now, right, we've, so we've got four million in the bonk. We're about to hit the off-season. The engine is a spec part, so we don't need a test track, really, do we? And yeah, that would help us with our driver improvement, but tough. <laughs> essentially uh, what could we upgrade on here and do we need to upgrade like the forecasting center would be handy to know what the hell's going on um, the scouting is the cheapest but it's, and it's five but I don't feel like I want to swap out our drivers I'm very happy with who we've got I can see I get quite sedentary with, with my staffing and stuff like that at the moment um That wind tunnel improvement could be really good. But so could those. And that's what the other teams have gone for, look, you can see. So it kind of makes me think, do we suck it up? And try and it's going to be a struggle though because we're going to run into debts. And I'm so worried about what we do next year in terms of finances. Do you know what? Yeah, I've talked myself out of it. Don't do it. We'll see how we go. Because <laughs> um, I want to see what the amount of. Oh, actually, I wonder. Does that tell us? Prize fund, 500,000. I wish it told us how much money we would get. But it doesn't, does it? Silly Simon. Okay. Nice ascension up the field, though. Okay, our car and performance improvements have happened. That's good. Um, yeah, let's leave it as that. They don't carry over. We're fine. Uh, let's... Dive off to Doha. Actually, before we do... It's not really helped our... I was hoping that would really push our car up a bit closer, but it hasn't. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's dive off. Uh, again... Rear wing is great. Our gearbox, less so. So let's try a fourth again and see if we, see if we can 
bingo wing it. I, I don't feel confident with this one specifically that we could win again. Um, particularly as there is no weather for us to basically outsmart the AI with. <laughs> um, tie we're very low as well, that's good. Let's end on hopefully a high note. Although I remember, didn't we, wasn't it last season where we had an absolutely horrific finale? <laughs> So we could have the same again. The grid is that tight. Now that we've got standardised engines. That looks like such a weird circuit. Yeah, also one I'd quite fancy having a go at. <laughs> like I do like that as, a, as an actual real thing right for the final time of asking then in the 2020 season oh, let's get myself sat properly on my sofa let's dive in for our Dubai setup so we've got one there is that the only one oh, we've got one there as well Let's try that for the time being. And we'll go super soft because we know that tie wear is low. But also that we're going to need to be aggressive for tie. Um, ah. We could potentially do some weight stripping as well, but I'm not even going to try. Let's dive straight into practice and see how we get on. Uh, so let's get you out. Let's do quali, since that's what you are assigned up to. Let's get you doing the race then. Those tire temperatures rise. Looks like I've got just the right area set up. Nice one. You say that now. Yeah, look at how quickly that tire temperature is going up. So that to me says again, and yeah, you can see everyone else is like, where mediums. So we'll only spend a little while on this, getting the. Uh, Super soft tyres up to maybe a level two. Let's just speed this up a wee bit. Because it's far from exciting. get both in because that now gets us to level two on that and actually we're only going to get to level two on mm, yeah we're only going to get level two right let's focus on race trim oh only greats for Volkov Is it worth trying the other Dubai setup? Hmm. No. <laughs> uh, use that. Let's. Move you down, Chuck. 
just a little bit. <clears throat> Let's do a lap just for now because that moves everything a little bit. And we'll very quickly see if that is going to work or not. Now I want to get you out on medium tyres. I think. Yeah, I do. Because the tyre temperatures are going to go through the roof again. So, straight out, thank you. Now you are two excellence and a great, so I'm not doing anything with you at all. <laughs> oh, though. I know it's a go down, isn't it? Do that. That might well make us absolute champs. And that implies that he could do the entire race without a stop. I don't think we will. But maybe give it a go. Uh, and again, we'll go race trim. Ops. Race is way more important. Although we showed the importance of qualifying at the last round, didn't we? Okay, let's go again. Let's see if we've helped out Volkov, who was actually faster than White, bizarrely. Because in between us, race trim level 2, nice. Oh god, yeah, we'll need to get quality trim to a level 1 in a minute. Medium's level 1. thin I think yeah since we are now on quality trim level three uh, sorry race trim level three now we're gonna stay on the mediums because there's an outside ch uh, no, we're not gonna get there I don't think Did that make it better or worse? It made it better. Great. I feel like we could do it again, but I don't want to push the uh, handling of that off. So we're going to go quali, three laps, same set of tyres, go. Here is our Russian chum. Oh, that's made everything worse. <laughs> Sorry. So that makes me want to go doink. Doink. And doink. What's the worst that can happen, Dr. Pepper? Let's just get us out and about. Medium ties level 2. We aren't, we're not going to get anywhere, are we? Depends if we can get round to start that final lap. I think we were right. Ah, so that seems to have helped Volkov because he's given positiveness. Are we over the line? Yes, we are. That may just help us are we going to get level 3 yes we are level 3 medium and quality level 2 maybe I think we might have missed quality level 2 interesting that Volkov is faster than white VLAN are awesome thanks Jade spelt weirdly I suffer no fools for silly names. 
Right, this 400k I don't think will be ours. <laughs> we'll give it a go. Quite a long lap here as well. Yeah, I thought we'd... I didn't think we'd quite got it. Never mind. This could be a difficult sesh for us. And that's 95, so that makes that better. Good. Take Wally. Alright, White goes out first this time because Rubiro won the last round. Uh, oh, what? Um, hello? <laughs> Go! straight out afterwards because it's a longish lap here. So I need you both out and in quick. Not nice. Because <laughs> no sooner are we in, we're going to need to get straight out again. Sixth and seventh, though, that's not bad. Oh no, we've, we've got time. So I want these two out just around the two minute mark. 10 mark maybe. We'll send Y out. Change the tyres. Off you go. And then Ribeiro, you can be just behind. And hopefully that gives us enough time to do what we wanted to do. So 7 and 9. Insert a Star Trek reference wherever you can. And again, we're going to be the only ones I think we'll get around. Maybe that 18th place. Is that Bergman again? Yeah, it is. So that's one over, two over. I don't think he's got the time to do it. He's going to be right on the ball. No, he's failed. So it's only us that managed to get round. Okay, guys, this is your bonus opportunity. Let me know how you get on. Oh, white's looking good. It's all in this final sector. Lippinen's four temps off. We could squeeze in there. Or not. Ah! It's right. The final sector hates us. We were great in the first bit. Seventh and eighth. Very harsh F1. Or 2017 Force India. Or Jordan F1. Let's see how far back we can go. <laughs> uh, super close though. Ollie Clark Smith is. I want. I, I'll have to look at him. He must have a trait that just says I qualify really well, because that car is a terrible car in quality for the Thorntons, and then in the race it's just nowhere. Um, they had an awful time. What is Nina doing in last? What is going on with this game? Bah! Yes, our colour is better, Maureen. Is that Peng was her surname? I'm down with the kids, she says. Right. 36 laps. Let's do it. Medium tyres, no stops. For white, anyway. It is going to be close. Well, we'll aim for it. I don't know if we'll actually get it, though. That's the thing. 
I don't think we'll, we'll I don't think we'll get it with Rubiro. We might get it with Barney. But as soon as we push, that's gonna be where the issue lies, I think. So let's go high high uh push and push and we'll we'll watch. Do you know what? I've completely forgotten what the tire temperatures were doing on the medium tires. But we'll work it. We'll work it out. Ah! Start that race. Soft, soft. What's Kranz doing on the front row? Okay, mediums towards the back, but not many on the mediums, it must be said. How are we going? Good start by White. Ah, but blocked. Oh, we're all blocked. Complete clock blocking going on there. Go on, White. That's one out of the way, surely. Becca. All right, sixth. Oh, Ribeiro's in trouble. Back down to seventh. That's not great. Oh, but that's... Ah, that's looking better. Wrong-footed, though. A wee bit. Oh, Ribeiro's really lost out. Careful. Oh, now we're really wrong footed again. Mm, these mediums aren't getting up to temp. Keep pushing, keep pushing. And that is going to be Bergman going around the outside, stop him. Nice. Ribeiro keeping a watching brief by his drop down. That's got him back one though. Nice. Ah, is it? Yes. No. Yes. Schmid. Our arch enemy from the last race. <laughs> Stop it, Schmid. He's going to get us. That was frustrating. Ribeiro dropping back as well. Maybe we are going to end this race in a complete and utter nightmare. Okay, tyres are up to temperature. That's good. Pretty much. So, what's annoying though is that Schmid is now the leading medium tyred driver. So we aren't even leading in our compound. We need to sort that out. We need to sort that out quick. So, let's get us back onto neutral. I don't mind Bergman getting us. Christ, we're not even in the points anymore. Right, and if we aren't pushing, save that fuel now, we'll get it later. Ah, oh, it's looking very messy though. Oh, yeah, we're really losing out. Come on, oh Christ! What did we do to deserve this? The super soft people are really getting away. That's white back up again. Good stuff. Yeah, quite a few mediums now ahead of us. This is the worry. So let's just keep this chill. We have nothing to prove this race. We won the last one. We're okay. <laughs> mm. Nice. That's past Pasani, was that? Yep. Oh, but we get wrong footed again. Wow. Real problems. But look at the tyre wear. The tyre wear is going to be amazing. We won't need to stop. But it, they, they're getting too far ahead that it won't really matter anyway. Which kind of makes me think, do we need to swap tyres out at some point? Because... 
because nothing is nothing is going off. Okay, all right, let's go for it. Let's let's get the let's get this heat on. Let's see if we can make some moves. Let's do a push, just a tiny one. Ribeiro is not going to make it on tire wear, so Ribeiro is going to have to pit. Oh, I should have started him on a better compound. Krantz is leading by three seconds. What is going on in this world? Esteban, 18th. So confused. You can get Pisani. You can get Pisani. Ah! There's another one down. God, Ed has passed us. Our old team member is passed. Completely the wrong strategy. I've buggered us up. Never mind. We're second in the championship. It's all good. We're also only 13 seconds behind fourth place still. So this isn't like a complete disaster yet. Because if we're going to try and make white not stop. Well done, Ribeiro. That's one up. Ooh, one down for white, though. Oh, Barney, why do you keep doing it there? Come on, round Chapman. Round Chapman. Or not. Okay, so Clark Smith comes out of the pits behind us. That's crucial. Because that now means that everyone else will still come out behind us. Oh, that's Surikov getting through. Ugh. Something tells me that Ollie Clark Smith has now unleashed Becker. <laughs> Go for that high fuel again. And a little bit of a push there. Come on, you could do it, you could do it. The penman takes the lead because Krantz is in the pits. This is a nightmare. into the pits. Go on Barney, can you get... Uh, not quite. Oh, Ribeiro is going to get round white or not. Is Gonzalez having a go as well? Oh, it's all a bit awkward.
You two. <laughs> They're proper going at each other. Oh, and that's Clark Smith getting through. Nice. Well done, Barney. That was required. Oh, that's not helped. Oh! Barney? <laughs> what a shit end to the season! <laughs> Oh, Christ. Right, the only good thing about this is that we can pit and try and get ourselves off of this. Um, right, well, we're buggered anyway, so let's go super softs. Uh, balanced. Yeah, we're fine. We actually end up not too bad with all of that. Okay, let's get back to racing speed. Yeah, because look, we've completely lit frogged Chapman with newer tyres and can kind of just pick our way home, hopefully. This is the plan. So look, now look, look at all of these other super softs coming in. And we're right up with them <laughs> Barnaby White's crash may well have just saved our race. Let's <laughs> keep your medium there, mate. Or at least helped us out a little bit. So we're 18 seconds off the lead. Keeping up with Costa, who is yet to pit. Here we come, up to the back of the people who we were battling with. Sixteenth, Costa and Chapman in behind us. Wow. Okay, conserve those tyres just for a second or two. Yeah, 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 don't panic yet, mate. Don't panic yet. You can get past these people. Because they're all pitting and they're all going to come out behind. So, yes, yes, go. Ah! Ah, oh, that sharp fruit. That's going to be Costa getting through as well, I think. This is still great, though. Let's get back on it again, now that our tyres have cooled slightly. We've got ten laps, we can get these through, so that's one out of the way. He's next. Who is next? Clark Smith. Who is who was busy overtaking us earlier. Ah! Wrong footed. Fisher's pitted, that's another one out of the way. Stay conserved for now. Let's go natural, get it back. We've got all of these people we could try and get round back up to 12th, okay. Come on dude, go for it. Chapman's next up behind us. He's closing. It's 
to Gonzalez in eighth is doing our strategy, as is Pisani and Serikov. They're going to run out of tyres. I think. Is that going to be us up into 11? Yes. Okay, conserve just for a smidge. Indulge me, indulge me. This is proper micromanagement, but this is how it's going to have to be done if we're going to keep these tyres in a temperature that's going to be right. Because as soon as that gets too hot, we're buggered. And that is Gonzalez in trouble. Or is it? No, it's Becca trying to get round Gonzalez, sorry. Okay, now we can go for it. Go, 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 go. Nice. That's Costa out the way. Oh, okay. So, next up is Sharp, who is caught up to Gonzalez. Schmid hasn't pitted. Look, he's going to run out of tyres. Can't get past Sharp. It's okay, mate. It's okay. Ah! Careful. Nice. Good defensive driving. Tries to go for Sharp. Can't do it. That's Surikov and Schmid in. So there we are out in eight. Oh, careful! Oh, damn it. Bullied. Absolutely bullied out of that position. Gonzalez and Pisani still going. Yeah, now look at us. We're really struggling with tyre temps. So, keep going. The hope is, is that Gonzalez and Pisani will just conk and maybe Lippinen. Okay, that's ninth. That's Pisani out of the way. I know, mate. I know. It's okay. How is Gonzalez still going? She can't pit on the last lap, surely. No, she's going for it. Christ. She's actually made it happen. I'm so surprised. Push, push. Just go nuts for it, Ribeiro. to the season <laughs> one guy had to crash to save the other one's race but that was poor strategy from me very poor strategy from me I I thought the tyre temperatures would go up much further we should have started on super softs and ran conservative um, and that would have held us kept us out of uh, mischief there so lessons learned uh, as they say in the trade Poor Barney. I hope he's not injured. I will go absolutely apeshit if that's the case. So, scrutineering done. Oh, Vexler. Naughty, naughty. Demoted four places. So, Krantz wins. Such a bizarre thing. A double. Oh, Van Dort get a third and fourth. Wow. Blonking the points again. Thornton having a proper good resurgence at the end, but they're still getting demoted. Uh, Van, see I thought Van Dort would be really really strong this year so this, I'm surprised that it's taken them all the way to this end of the season to get that third four they've really come on strong um, oh Wally Clark Smith ended up last lol uh, wow so 
The final standing, see Pascal Becker win from Vexler. Sharp Costa. Barney does keep Ribeiro behind, despite binning it in the last race. That was one crash each that season. Um, Schmidt there gets ahead of Nina Holtz. They had an awful season. Krantz there, with like literally three points results at the end of the season, ends up 11th in the standings. It's a shock. Uh, Gonzalez doing really well there for Van Dort as well. Uh, in the end, gets up to 12th, beating Camille. And Sirikov and Fisher drop down. Blanc, Bassani, Edda, Jens, and Ollie. And there we are, second. Thornton are going down. Dum, dum, dum. So, um, no sponsorship bonus there, Simon. <laughs> Christ. Never mind. At least I don't edit my races so that you only see the good results. <laughs> and that was with the new front wings. Oh. Never mind. Please. Yeah, I don't mind morale going down. Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we still make money. Okay. So that was us there. So Thornton are going down. Who's coming up? Uh, oh, East Spirit got the... W oh, this changes everything. So, Jeremy Woodford wins the actual championship. Well done. But that Hong Liao for East Spirit GP, I think, changes it so that East Spirit come up. Yeah, look. E-Spirit beat McNeil, so Thornton go down, I think, for the first time. Maybe the second? I'm not sure. Um, but I think it might be the first time. And E-Spirit come up for the first time. So that will be interesting there. Uh, Luca Telly Racing go down in the Asia Pacific. And coming up <clears throat> will be Octane. Instead of Whatever happens. I've not actually kept track as to who's going up and down on that league. Uh, oh, Amy McLeod gets a point or two. Although she's mid-tables. That's not great. <clears throat> Interesting. Well, champion. Well done, Mr. Becker. We are. I like the way how it's like. You could uh, track that driver if you like. Does look good. Done. Well done, well done. Prize money fifty million. And there we are, all saved and done. So what do we have here? Car condition, review, cramps, accept the interview. I'm not answering that as a question. Go away. No one on the pit crew that I want. Now, yeah, end of world championship. Car repairs are complete. Fantastic Ozzy. And there we are, the end of the championships are here. So, here we go. Octane's chairman to retire, Toodle Pips. After toting up, we are, yay, the manager of the season. The driver of the season is Barney White. Yay, that is deserved. Uh, and Windsor's chairman, oh, Windsor's 78-year-old chairman naffs off as well. I'm happy to present you the prize money for the 2020 season. Try not to spend it all at once. 50. So everyone gets 50 million. Right. Ooh. That's not enough. <laughs> uh -ours. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for uh, watching this season. Um, we didn't win. And there's lots of stuff changing for next season. So I'm going to stop uh, here. But we will be... Uh, sorry for this episode. But we will be back for the 2021 season. Uh, since there's going to be lots of changes. Everyone's starting with the same prize money. I think will do very well to be vaguely as competitive as what we are here. So um, stay tuned and watch the car crash unfold. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.